Hey everybody, it's Chris with the Mill Run in Western Maryland, and I've been to the Greenberg Train Show in Chantilly, Virginia, my buddy Joe's first major train show, and I'm going to share with you today what we found. So hop on, check this out. First item on the docket is this 080 River Rossi. Despite a few missing items such as the bell and a couple foot plates, this locomotive is in pretty good shape. And it features a lot of River Rossi's details such as the metal handrails and the working metal valve gear. It also has KD couplers. My buddy Joey's just kept started in the hobby and needed a good locomotive. And after seeing this thing run, it was well worth $30 he spent on it. Milling around in the crowd, I spotted this Erie Lackawanna RS2 by AHM. I've always been kind of fond of this paint scheme, and when I saw the locomotive, I fell in love with it. Looking it over, it had a, needed a handrail that needed to be glued back on, and some traction tires, but for $10, I felt like it was a pretty good deal. After doing some cleaning once we got her home, she fired right up. Now this is no load speed monster, but for a mainline freight like you see this speed right here, she does pretty good. While we're talking about RS2 AHMs, my buddy Joey picked up this RS2 in the Santa Fe paint scheme at the train show. Now this is a much more modern AHM. This has the dual drive shaft motor in it, so both trucks pull, and it does not have traction tires on it. This locomotive has a lot more potential to be a lot smoother running locomotive. So it was evident once we got it home that this locomotive had set for a while and hadn't been run. It needed some cleaning, and it also needed to be lubricated. And for some of these old locomotives, sitting is just the worst thing for them. So it took some jerking around and some playing with it, but eventually we got it to where it ran fairly decent. So we feel like the potential's there, and I think it was worth the $15 that Joe spent on it. Typical AHM. Now I think it worth noting that my buddy Joe hadn't even bought any track for his layout yet, and he's now bought three more locomotives. One River Rossi dockside and two lifelike. The River Rossi cost him $5 and the Life Like $15, a two for $15 that is. Now one of the Life Likes has the old two pole motor in it with the direct drive to the axle. The other's got a more modern engine in it. And the River Rossi's the typical River Rossi style. As you can see the River Rossi runs pretty good. a little extra play with the life likes but they roared right to life I was actually fairly impressed the one vendor was so desperate for Joey to buy the dockside he threw in this caboose This is probably one of my favorite purchases from the train show, and it's these three Atlas 
pulpwood cars. Now I've been looking for some decent pulpwood cars to add to my sawmill and my layout. These had some fairly decent detail. They go a lot better than what you see on like the Dill Tyco pulpwood cars. These have the metal wheels and the metal KD knuckle couplers and they're actually like a die cast frame. So they're fairly heavy cars. They roll super sweet. But anyway, the deal on these was three for $25. I felt like that was a pretty good deal. Um, as you can see here, they're very nicely constructed. Nothing broke. The detail on the log is, is better than usual. I was very pleased with this and I'm glad, so glad that I bought them. They fit in so well with my layout. Buying anything used at a train show or a hobby shop, you take a chance. And I took a chance on two 280 model power tender drive steam locomotives. I had a project in mind for these and they showed some potential at the show. They did fire up there, but once I got them home after many attempts, uh, one of them, the motor is so weak it won't even pull. The other one ran for maybe 30 seconds and the motor literally caught fire. So, eh, took a loss on those. But I'm still weighing some options on possibly reparroting these things somehow. So stay tuned for that. That might be a future video. So I was finally able to convince Joe that he was going to need some track to run his locomotives on. So he picked up this massive box of Atlas track for $35. Now I sat down and counted this out for him and he has nearly 4,000 feet of track which is enough to build eight 4 by 8 foot layouts. Joey, you have some work cut out for you. It just goes to show the model train shows is probably the best way to get started in this hobby. So you can see Joe spent $100 and has more than enough than what he needs to get started. Hey, I appreciate you checking this video out. Don't forget to give it a like on your way out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until next time, I'm Chris with the Mill Run in Western Maryland. Thank you for watching.